Tom Rankin and this is video vlog number three from Rome, Italy. Today I'm in the Circus Maximus and wanted to talk about a very different kind of public space from the urban piazzas of Rome where it's stones throw from downtown Rome near the Colosseum uh, in the valley between the Aventine Hill and the Palatine Hills uh, on a site that has served for athletic activities since at least the 4th century BC, if not earlier, but which since the unification of Italy, since the, in the past hundred years or so, has been a park. The city that grew up on the site of the ancient Circus Maximus, the ancient stadium, was demolished after the 19th century, much of it in the 1930s, cleared out, as you see it today, as an empty field. A uh, kind of space that Rome actually needs more of. Space that is open to various different functions. It's been used for concerts. It's been used as the site of political demonstrations. It's been used for the festivities following World Cup victories and uh, Rome's local soccer team's National Cup victory. And it's often used just on a nice day for people to go jogging or mountain biking. Once in a while one sees horses pulling carts around here in a kind of amateur version of the ancient chariot races which took place here during the Roman Empire. It's a green space. Rome, of course, has a lot of green space, probably more green per capita than any other European capital, but much of it is heavily landscaped. It's artificial design constructed green space. The Circus Maximus is left almost as it would have been had the grass just grown over it. Uh, the grass follows the contours of the masonry substructures which supported bleachers. Much of the stadium from antiquity, of course, is gone. The wooden structures, the wooden bleachers that seated upwards of 300,000 people at the height of the empire have uh, burned many times and have long since been carted away, destroyed. But we still see the footprint of the shape of the stadium, which is about six football fields long and two football, football fields wide. Uh, leaving a very gripping testament to the scale of the ancient city, a scale which is uh, very adaptable to the scale of the modern metropolis. So, the Circus Maximus, when you're in Rome, come down here, jog seven laps around, and you will get a bit of the feeling that it would have been like in the ancient world get some exercise. Thanks for joining me.